What important lessons can we learn from chapter 26? We can learn how should we relate with leadership. And we learn another thing important. There is no leadership unless those who were established by God. Even those who are trying to kill you have been established by God. And we learn from that account when David says, verse 9, Do not destroy him about Saul. For who can stretch out his hand, or maybe let's add his tongue, or his keyboard, against the Lord's anointed, and be guiltless? And then David said, furthermore, and I am verse 10, As the Lord lives, the Lord shall strike him, or his day shall come to die, or he shall go out to battle and perish. And now verse 11. The Lord forbid that I should stretch out my hand against the Lord's anointed. If someone was chosen by God, there is a ruler in place. I must respect the Lord by respecting that ruler. And if that person is a wicked person, and it may be even in the church, because the church have human leadership, and sometimes humans are, are not automatically consecrated for, because of their position. No, that's not the case. Position does not bring, bring uh, holiness to anyone. So it's not the position that will confer uh, consecration or holiness. No, at all. But so if we have a wicked leader in our local church or wherever, in an institution of the church, what, what should be our reaction to that? Our reaction is to trust in the Lord and to act more spiritually, praying, committing our lives to the Lord and making a firm decision as David did. We are in a valley, we are living now in a very much political environment. And we tend, our tendency is to treat the church issues as people treat the current politics here, the, the parties, the different parties and the politics trying to, you know, that's not the case. We should work in a very different way. The kingdom of God works in a different way. Our, our struggle is not against flesh and body and blood. Our 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 fight is against the authorities of the darkness of the, the the kingdom of evil so we do not fight against them with human weapons we should find different weapons spiritual weapons so instead of moving my tongue i have decided to move my knees and to move my hands and to move my lips in prayer to god and let's wait on him as David did and he succeeded but because God who was in control uh, performed the actions at the right at the appointed time and then placed David in the leadership but it was not by David's hand it was by God's hand what a precious lesson for me I am asking the Lord to learn that lesson and apply it to my life May the Lord be with you today, is my desire in Jesus' name. Amen.